On today's video, we will be tearing down the side of the e-bike, removing the panel from the side of the battery, pulling the battery out, detaching the BMS, wiring it indirectly, putting it back in the battery box, and testing to see if it works. If the bike works, then it's a faulty BMS. If the bike doesn't work, well, I guess we'll go from there. Let's get to it. In my last uh, video that I took the bike apart, I showed how to take this piece and this piece off. So I'm going to take those two off and then I'm going to take this big panel off here. So it's stripped down here. Um, if you look up under here, uh, right here there's like this screw mount. Um, that basically holds that whole side panel onto the bike. Uh, you got to remove that and then there's another screw right here that connects to right there so you gotta unscrew that and then there's like a couple side panel fairing screws that gotta come out and then of course you gotta take this screw off down here so that the, the panel slips out of there and that one too but mine broke uh, and then you have to undo it from there and undo it from the tank and then you gotta, gotta take that little screw out of it and then the whole side panel will come off and then to get the metal panel out, it's just, there's there's a bunch of screws and you just take the screws out and then take these two screws out from the bars and you look like that. See, there's the charge thing I had hooked up, so I'm just going to unplug that. I flick this breaker. Okay, I flick the breaker off on the side of my bike. Hold on now, there we go. Key off. Okay, we left it off for a little bit, and now watch what happens. Flip this back on. Now that's supposed to supply power again. Flick the breaker on the side. Okay. And then turn on the ignition. Now watch, when I turn on the ignition, what happens? See? Nothing. And I know the battery's fully charged. So, that's the BMS, guys. So to get this battery pack out, once you got this thing off, and once you get the foam all out of your thing, just uh, flip that breaker back off. Unplug your Anderson connector, and then grab these handles and just lift it up past this bar here and pull it out. Now once you've got it out of the bike, as you can see, and as I was talking in my previous video with the charger, this is the cord that goes to the charge plug on the side of your bike. So this is the one I sliced into to go to my charge system. This one is an Anderson connector, and it goes to your bike. There should be another Anderson connector on the other side of your bike. You, you can't mistake which one's the charge one and which one's not. By the way, if you don't know what you're doing, please don't try what I'm doing here. I do know what I'm doing, and you will severely hurt yourself. You could explode your bike. You could blow off your arm. These things are combustible if you don't do it right. So if you do know what you're doing, well, follow along. Okay, got to take all the screws out all along the lid. And when you've got all the screws out, just lift up the lid. Here's something I've noticed. Uh, not loving this, but if you look down inside, you see that? There's water in the bottom of this battery box. This is supposed to be a sealed battery box, but look at that. It's full of water. Water condensation all over the inside of the lid. Come on, Tau Motors. What is this? So we're gonna get our actual battery pack out of this thing. Yeah, look at the water in the bottom of this box. Like, on both sides. It's, it's awful. There is a lot of water in this box. Like, look, there's a lot of water in there. So I've got the battery out. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at it and stuff because for all I know, the BMS could be wet. Let it dry, it could work. From this point on, if you know enough about electronics and stuff, you can proceed. Now that I've opened up the box and got all the extra crap off it, it actually seems dry. It's all dry in here. So, so there's your first step. Uh, all these black cords over here that come off the inside. See, there's your charge one. They just basically go into the exact same ground. So those are all your grounds. I just cut them off of there. And then I'm going to cut these grounds off of the other side of the BMS. That's, that's your temperature sensor there. And those are your float wires. Um, so I'm going to cut those blacks off there. 
And then what I'm gonna do, just to test, I'm not gonna leave it like that, but I'm gonna connect those blocks to those blocks, put it all back in my bike and, and see if it runs. If it runs, I know it's this shoddy piece of junk right here and I have to replace it. At least Tau Motors has Samsung 25R18650 cells. At least they got that going for them. Now that the BMS is out, I went ahead and I soldered all the leads, the four lead, including the charge lead. I don't know why I hooked it up. I'm not going to be charging for this test. So I'm going to tape these up. I'm going to close the box all back up and put it back in my bike and uh, I'm going to give it a test, see if it works. If everything goes good, then it was that BMS. It looks sketchy right now, but I'm about to test this thing out. Throwing the breakers, I've got the battery in. Breakers on there, the other breakers on, so moment of truth. Yeah, see what I mean? We have power now. All right, so we're gonna go for a freaking test ride. We got power, we're moving. All right, let's try this. There you go, guys, it is most definitely the BMS. Take the thing off, the bike runs like a dream. There we go, put the box <clears throat> back in, all proper and stuff. So I'm gonna close it all up now. So there it is, all back together. Let's go for a real ride.
Okay, here's the BMS I'm going to order. It's from AliExpress.com. And I should have it by the end of June. So as you've seen, we have everything figured out. We've done our testing. We did the test drive. We got everything hooked up without the BMS, and it works great. So I showed you the Dally BMS uh, down there, and uh, now all I have to do is buy one and put it in my bike. But I've got one full charge, so I, I don't. I won't be making any trip videos because uh, I need that charge to get around and do all my stuff tomorrow. But um, yeah, so as soon as the BMS shows up, I'll make a video of putting it in, and I'll try and make some videos during the month of June. I don't know of what, what they're going to be, so because there's not much else I can do without that BMS. But stay tuned, and feel free to watch this video while you're waiting, and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next one.